The tech world witnessed a heavy influx of several AI-driven products and innovative features following Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference. But we get it. Despite the grand publicity around the event and several demo videos released by the Silicon Valley giant, some end users still find it difficult to understand the impact of artificial intelligence on these products and how they work generally. So in today's video, we'll be revealing the seven top ways that Apple plans to utilize AI in new products. If you're one of the people that recently upgraded to the Apple iOS 17, you might want to pay extra attention because this video is for you. If you've been following the recent AI trends, you must have caught on with the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference. But there's a good chance you might have missed some of the company's newest products and services. And that's totally okay because most of these products were not even officially unveiled at the event. So it's understandable that you don't have a hint about them. The new iOS 17 software was one of the most publicized introductions, but came with some minor upgrades that went under the radar. Amongst them is the usual lookup feature that allows users to search and find recipes for dishes directly from a photo. Surprisingly, the feature wasn't covered in the keynotes of the event. In fact, Apple only mentioned it on a teaser page on its website, and even at that, not much was said about how it works. But from the pictorial illustrations on Apple's website, you can tell how it works. For instance, in this image, this intuitive recipe search feature was used to scan bowls of quinoa, and just underneath the image, you can see the amazing results returned. The visual lookup tool provides accurate recipes for other quinoa meals and other related breakfast foods. It's delightful to see, especially for internet users that love to explore food from different parts of the world. You don't even know the country or region where the dish originated from. All you need is a clear picture and the new Apple Visual Lookup feature will help you trace the roots of the dish and the recipe to make it. Additionally, the upgrades announced for the Visual Lookup software will allow users to pause videos and search for information on the subject by tapping on the info icon. Apple has designed this tool in such a way that it would bypass Google's search engine and instead connect users directly to the websites containing the recipes. It's a small step in Apple's agenda to redirect its users away from using Google search. However, it's a significant step that could involve artificial intelligence streaming search results to optimize user experience. More importantly, developments like this could play a significant role in determining how Apple compares with some of its Silicon Valley rivals in a few years from now. As part of the iOS 17 upgrade, Apple also announced the launch of the Journal app during the conference. Unlike the visual lookup feature, most people had a fair idea about the Journal app because Bloomberg and other mainstream media had reported its impending arrival for months. So it was no surprise to see Apple unveil it at the Worldwide Developers Conference. Basically, the Apple Journal app is designed to track the activities of users. Just like any other journaling app, users are allowed to log their thoughts and experiences as often as they want. But in an unprecedented move, the developers at Apple have equipped the Journal app with machine learning and artificial intelligence capabilities. This intuitive technology allows the app to generate personalized suggestions based on the entries of the user and the information on their device. This includes data about their photos, location, music, gym sessions, and more. Expectedly, some people have complained about the potential privacy issues that could arise from using this app. But Apple maintains that users would have absolute control over which data the journal has access to. Another exciting improvement announced by Apple is the adaptive audio feature, which is expected to improve their users' experience of Apple AirPod products. While AirPods' noise cancellation feature is great for eliminating background noise in enclosed environments like airplanes, it could be counterproductive in public places where users need to be aware of their surroundings. And that's where the adaptive audio feature comes in. Rather than just block out the background noise, this feature is designed to find the perfect balance between active noise cancellation mode and transparency mode, constantly adjusting between different environments as the user moves around. With the help of machine learning and artificial intelligence, the feature will be able to identify and eliminate an irrelevant sound like a loud lawnmower. At the same time, 
The smart tool will filter and amplify relevant sounds like a friend trying to talk to you or a car honking behind you. Apple also announced some big changes to its autocorrect features on iOS. Powered by a large language model, this autocorrect service will be able to predict the next words of the users, and over time, the model will be able to learn, create, and adapt to a personalized library of frequently used expressions, including swear words. The next AI-powered service by Apple is the live collaboration feature on PDFs. Everyone has probably had that frustrating experience where they wish they could edit PDF files. Most users spend time struggling with this problem to no avail before they're eventually forced to purchase the premium plan of apps like Adobe Acrobat and PDF Expert. But with the new machine learning powered live collaboration feature on iPad OS 17, users can access and edit PDF files and other documents with ease. And if for any reason you have cause to collaborate with another iPad OS 17 user, you'll be able to make edits and write notes with Apple Pencil. Every change made is immediately updated on all devices that have access to the document. Admittedly, the new service is similar to the way Google Docs works, but for most people, the Apple Pencil functionality and the opportunity to edit documents while FaceTiming other collaborators could prove to be extra useful. Apple also reiterated its commitment to pioneer more biotech products and services by introducing a mental health tracking feature on its watch and iPhone. As the saying goes, you can't improve what you don't improve. Apple realizes this and it has put measures in place that would allow users to document and track their mental health state for future observations. The actual tracking process is performed by using the digital crown to scroll through a range of emotions. By observing this record, users can identify the loopholes in their lifestyle and adjust accordingly. This intuitive feature also comes with standardized assessments for anxiety and depression. This assessment can help users understand their current mental health condition and determine if they need to see a professional or not. It can also generate a user's risk report for ailments and recommend relevant articles and resources that will help users overcome their mental health challenges. Like every other product and feature we've analyzed so far, Apple's mental health tracking tool is a great concept and it will definitely go a long way to improve the lives of millions of people around the world. However, the next Apple product we're about to reveal is expected to have just about the same impact. It's no secret that Apple has a keen interest in the virtual and augmented reality space. From the Oculus DK1 released in 2013 to the more recent Quest and Vive headsets, the tech giant has consistently launched different VR and AR products in a bid to gain an early advantage over competitors. So far, the impact and performance of these products have been below par, and competitors seem to be in the lead. But the introduction of the Apple Vision Pro could change that very quickly. The technology behind this product is very advanced, and we dare say that some users might not be entirely prepared for it. According to official reports, the Vision OS is Apple's first ever spatial operating system and 3D camera. Once you put it on, the sleek hardware launches you into a realm of bliss where you can view and access your favorite applications like never before. It's like magic, but the experience is exceptionally natural. The Vision OS features 23 million pixels across its two panels. That's more than four resolution quality for each eye. Furthermore, the Vision OS is equipped with Apple's most advanced spatial audio system, delivering personalized sounds to your ears. It's also equipped with auto tracing technology to better understand the materials and objects around you. With all of these features in place, users can navigate with their eyes and scroll through apps with their fingers. You can make selections by tapping the imaginary screen and dictate instructions with your voice. But unlike most headsets on the market, Apple has taken extra measures to ensure that users are not isolated from the real world while using the Vision OS. So, while enjoying the breathtaking features of the hardware, you'll be able to see and interact with anyone around you. With the Vision OS, there are no limitations. Your photos can be displayed as life-sized images or any size at all. Its 3D camera allows you to capture photos and videos with outstanding depths, preserving lifelong memories in the highest quality possible. You can watch videos like they're happening in real life and create the perfect virtual workspace and browse the internet like you're living in it. In addition, you can transform your immediate space by creating your preferred environment. 
Critically, none of this would be possible without artificial intelligence and the ever-growing commitment from Apple to develop innovative products and features that would revolutionize the world around us. But if what we've seen is anything to go by, we can expect to see even more AI-driven tech products and services integrated into our personal lives. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos like this. And if you like this video, make sure to watch this one as well.